Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 16th, 2021. Boy, it's hard to believe we're already halfway through the month. And this morning we have just a little bit of uncertainty creeping up in the market. If you saw some of those disturbing images of diplomats fleeing from Afghanistan as um, the Taliban re took over the country um, in a very quick, um, quick move uh, moving across the country and seizing the presidential palace yesterday. So a um, little bit of disturbing um, images out there. And then we heard about the Fed uh, possibly tapering. Um, that's also raised a little bit of uncertainty. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Well, we have a little bit of uncertainty affecting the market this morning. Just a little tiny bit of bearishness showing up here in the pre-market, but honestly, we're in such a good, strong bullish pattern. I'm not sure that it's going to make any major effect on the market just yet. We'll have to wait and see. The question really is going to be with the um, unbelievable bullishness that we've had, will the bears wake up from this summer hibernation that they've been in? And when they do wake up, will they ever have any teeth? Um, that's kind of been the question. They, they get little tiny shots of trying to eat as they push down, but so far um, the bulls have been um, by far the most dominant of the market. However, we are running out of a little bit of that bullish inspiration as we kind of taper back on earnings reports after today. We'll see those numbers decline and more of more small cap, less market moving reports as we move forward. So let's take a look here on the diamonds. We are certainly very bullish coming off of fresh new record highs on Friday, um, looking very, very bullish. Now, I don't think we have really any problem here other than the fact that in the short term, we might be just a little bit overextended. We have that a little upside trend right there, pulling back to maybe test that as support this morning. We'll see if that holds or not. I will say that we are a little bit overextended in the short term, and I wouldn't be all that surprised if we get enough push to bring us back down into here. But I don't know that it'll happen in a straight line, and 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 I won't know. I don't know if it'll happen at all. We certainly have the ability to ignore a lot of things here in the market. So let's watch that closely. Um, but just a little bit of bearishness this morning. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, also dealing with a little bit of that uncertainty, those disturbing images of diplomatics fling, diplomats fleeing and um, the possibility of a Fed taper. But nothing at all here wrong in this chart, although we are pulling back just a little bit. You can see very, very bullish in the trend, holding on well above support levels. Once again, maybe just a little bit overextended in the short term, and the question will be whether those bears will have any energy at all. They're just waking up um, maybe just a little bit this morning. Somebody poked them and trying to wake them up a little bit, but we'll see if they have any energy at all today. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at the Q, QQQ also holding up very bear bullishly, but notice that we have really been locked into a consolidation. We have not been able to break out and make those new record highs here in the NASDAQ. So kind of stuck in this arranging consolidation. Now that could be a concern if the big tech starts to sell off. Remember big tech has been the predominant mover here in the, the NASDAQ and the tech giants, I should say, the NASDAQ and the SPY. As a matter of fact, we have more companies below their 200 day moving average um, as big tech continues to do the majority of the lifting. So I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape as long as big tech continues to hold on to that support. If big tech were to uh, suddenly decide 
uh, some bears come in here, it might be really tough for the market to remain up. So watch that closely. Now, as long as we hold in this range here, I think we're in really good shape. Where we'll start to raise some major questions here for the market is if we drift down below that area right there. So watch that closely. And let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, while Diamond Spy and QQQ were, were while well, Diamonds and Spy setting new records and QQQ rallying on Friday, IWM really wasn't having any part of it. Um, we have another possible failure showing up here in um, IWM below its 50 day moving average. Now we're still holding, at least for now, we kind of held on to this little uptrend in here, but this morning we're showing just a little bit of pressure on that trend, a little bit of follow through. So watch that closely. If that continues to follow on through to the downside, that could be a little bit problematic for IWM. And notice that our 50 day moving average has started to turn lower. So as I've said before, I think there is a trip to the 200 day moving average coming here in the IWM. I can't say that it's gonna happen right now, but I think we're kind of leaning in that direction so watch that closely and that could be maybe a little bit of forewarning too of some issues that could crop up in the other indexes if that bear um, if those bears did sharpen up their teeth while they were hibernating let's take a look at um, our vix now our vix on friday continued to pull back notice we are now approaching these lows here in um, the chart, the recent lows that we've seen anyway. And we're right down here and we're testing the support levels right there where we um, had um, held before. So now the question becomes, have we reached that, uh, that point of um, complacency in the market where this little bit of uncertainty that we're seeing starts to push back here? Um, I don't know, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we continue to show that that fear really has tapered back off substantially. And what we need to do, it, we need to see that continue to fail and move on lower if we're going to keep the market going up. So watch that closely. We have this downtrend here in play. I don't think there's any problem here unless we cross over that downtrend. And even then, I think unless we break back above this 20 handle, I'm not sure that we will have too much worry here unless we break back above that and hold it as support. So um, I think we're in pretty good shape there on the VIX, at least at the moment, but there is that concern that we may have reached a little bit of complacency. Let's take a look at um, our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low. Notice on Friday that as we were moving up in the indexes, we had T2122 uh, pulling back which says that there were actually more stocks pulling back or going sideways, even in those that may be just plain declining, um, than we had going up. So kind of an interesting situation where we've got the indexes setting new record highs in the diamonds and the spy, but we're seeing more and more stocks pulling back. Not a major problem just yet, but we'll want to keep a close eye on that. Now, keep in mind that that means that pullback means that if we find reason for bullish inspiration, we have plenty of upside room that we could potentially move before we hit that overbought condition. And we certainly have um, room to the downside as well before we um, hit that oversold condition. And as we continue to linger around here in this mid range, if we stay in this mid range, probably not much to worry about, but watch that carefully. If we get started in a direction here, it could move rather quickly. Let's take a look at our um, T2101, which I got to tell you, the absolute breadth continues to be a major concern for me as we were rallying, 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 and our T2101, our breadth continues 
to show tremendous weakness here. Now what we don't want to see, we don't want to see this fire up on a bearish wave. So if those bears do come in today and they push back hard, uh, and they push hard, if we see this breadth really starting to increase on that bearish wave, something we don't want to see in the market. But watch that closely. Um, well, and unless you're short, if you are a bear in the market, you will absolutely want to see that. So watch that carefully. Um, that could spike up a little bit today with a little bit of um, uh, energy here this morning on that uncertainty. So watch that closely. So let's take a look at our T2107. This is something I've been showing here recently. And here's this problem where we've set, we're setting new record highs in the diamonds and the SPY. And notice that our um, number of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average continues to decline. Now, certainly we had a little higher low in here, and that was good on this recent rally, but let's watch that closely. That could quickly slip uh, lower this morning with um, this little bit of selling. So, watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for this week. Now our economic calendar, we've got a pretty light day today. Not a whole lot to worry about. We've got Empire State Manufacturing and the Treasury International Capital. I don't know that any of those will really make any um, any you know issues um, at all um, for the market today. Um, but let's keep in mind that what we have the remainder of the week, we have some big reports. Notice we've got retail sales here on Tuesday. So you'll want to think about that as you plan the close of the day. Retail sales is one of those numbers that can really move the market. We've got industrial production, business inventories, housing index, and then we've got Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow afternoon. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. We're also going to have housing numbers over here on Wednesday, petroleum status, and the FOMC minutes on Wednesday. So it is possible we could see light and choppy price action um, as we kind of head toward that FOMC. And then we've got our normal jobless claims and then Philly the Fed um, coming in there on Thursday. So kind of a busy first part of the week here on that calendar. Some things that could move us around. But today, pretty light day. Then if we take a look at our earnings, we have a, a lot of companies listed on the earnings calendar. Over 190 companies were listed this morning on that earnings calendar. However, there are a large number of them that are unconfirmed. Um, we're kind of slipping into that period um, where um, we will diminish, we will be diminishing very dramatically after today um, in those number of earnings. And a lot of them will be the very small cap. There will be a few in there that could be market movers as we move along. But we've, we're kind of running into that place. We're going to lose that inspiration here of those earnings reports. So kind of keep that in mind. It'll be interesting to see how market deals with that when we kind of lose that um, that big surge that we've seen here um, in these earnings. Um, notables today, there are quite a few notables. I won't be able to cover them all. Make sure you click that link just below the title of the video if you want to catch the full list of notables for today. First, um, PLNT um, will be reporting today. Take, an, uh, take a look at Planet Fitness. This has been struggling in this downtrend in here, but we've got this higher low that it came in here on the chart trying to improve itself. So this could be an important earnings report, whether or not we'll be able to break through or if we continue to sink here in Planet Fitness. We're also going to hear from DDD, 3D Systems. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice we've got also a wedging pattern forming here. We've got that downtrend, that little bit of rising going in here. So this, again, could be a really important point. Um, uh, earnings report here whether or not we're going to move along to the upside. We will hear from the mean stock um, AMC uh, today. Not that um, I have any concern or interest in that, but um, we'll be hearing from their uh, on their earnings report today. Um, Dish. Um, Dish is going to be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from um, CF Industries watch for that report. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about this morning, TTD 
um, we'll be reporting today. It looks like it's moving just slightly lower, but I can't tell if that's uh, as a result of earnings um, yet or if that is just the function of the market being a little bit weak today. Once again, remember, to, if you want to see the full list of notables, click that link just below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog for that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, if you guys could do me another favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, helps the channel or helps the algorithm on YouTube continue to show these videos to more folks. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up. Now, please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence on these trades. But keep a close eye on them. Uh, maybe something you want to put on the list. Just remember to consider your risk, follow your rules, and never ever follow someone else's trade suggestions. Make them yours. Let's take a look at Kroger. Now Kroger, we've been seeing a pretty substantial run up here recently of consumer staples and consumer discretionary defensive sector stocks. That's one of those warning signs that there may be a little bit of trouble coming in the market when we start to see defensive sector stocks rallying. And as you can see, we've pushed up here pretty dramatically here in Kroger. We're approaching that high print that came over here in that wild volatility on Kroger. But notice how bullish, whoops, um, how bullish we are in this chart. Very, very bullish upside move, looking good. Holding on to support and trend here and that opportunity that Kroger could push right on through here to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Looking pretty good here overall. Um, take a look at Deckers. Deckers continues to set up nicely here. Nice little consolidating trend. Holding into that support of that trend. Nice little resting period if that can find that bullish inspiration. Could push right on through. Keep an eye on that. Retail stocks have been doing incredibly well here recently. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Procter holding up well. It triggered my alert on Friday. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it because of this resistance high up here. But um, we know some of these defensive sector stocks have been holding up very, very strong. And you can see holding in a beautiful upside trend. That may just find enough inspiration to get going here. Maybe attack those highs and who knows, possibly pop on through that level up there. Watch that carefully. Take a look at Johnson & Johnson. These drug makers have done really, really well um, with all of the talk of booster shots and things um, on the way. Um, keep an eye on that. That was a beautiful hold of that trend, pushing on higher. Now, any rest consolidation or pullback continues to set up that upside opportunity there in J and J. Keep a close eye on that, and um, as well as uh, the other drug makers like Pfizer. Um, Pfizer parabolic move. Now this one, a little bit more problematic for me because of that parabolic nature of that chart. I think this needs a little bit more rest or consolidation in here before I'd be too interested in chasing that to the upside. Take a look at Oracle. Um, Oracle continues to set up in here. Tried to make a move on Friday, didn't quite do it. Um, falling back in here to a little bit of rest. Keep an eye on that. Um, this has, still has that opportunity to find that inspiration and move on higher. I'd keep a close eye on that one. Um, um, I'm also going to put Cisco on that list. Cisco, very, very bullish here in this pattern. Holding up well, just looking for that little bit of inspiration to the upside. Could move that through um, right on higher. You might want to keep an eye on Fastenal. Fastenal has been very bullish. Struggle here, it popped up. Trigger my alert, pulling back just a little bit, but still in a very bullish pattern. We just need that, that little inspiration here in the market to potentially move that on through to the upside. If you guys happen to be looking for a short, 
Take a look at PayPal. PayPal is in a shorting pattern, a failure pattern, and notice that we've uh, broke down, um, broke down pretty hard actually, and um, now we're trying to um, determine whether or not we're going to stay that way. So we broke down through here, we've rallied up, now we're starting to show that potential failure. Um, where that could really get ugly here is if we drop down below through that level. So keep an eye on that. And there may be some reason to have a little concern here because we see that failure pattern that occurred here in Visa. There's that breakdown, break of support, rally back to resistance, failure, Visa, MasterCard, um, in that same um, area. So pay systems um, running into a little bit of bearish pressure here and that certainly could spill over into PayPal. Watch that closely. And another place that you might want to take a look at, couple inverse ETFs. Take a look at RWM. Um, we have IWM looking bearish here. Um, in the market failing and you can see here RWM. This is a rounded bottom breakout. This is an inverse for um, For IWM now, this is this is not a one or two. This is just a straight straight um, inverse ETF so there's no uh, major leverage in here, but keep a close eye on that that's looking uh, pretty darn Pretty darn bullish here at the moment. Notice that 50 day moving average starting to turn up. So keep an eye on that if you want to hedge to the market. Um, RWM might be a place to go. And last but not least, take a look at DRIP. Um, DRIP, we're seeing a little bit of pressure in uh, the selling here in the energy sector. And you can see here's another rounded bottom breakout on an inverse ETF starting to push its way up here might want to keep an eye on drip if you want to take a little bit of an inverse trade or hedge against a pullback in that oil sector so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here thanks for clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments you guys are awesome and a huge huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on the buy me a coffee link you guys will find that just right below the title of this video thank you so much everyone have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning